Okay, so today I'm doing a video that a lot of people have asked me to do, which is how to play on Larry's, which is typically well known as the hardest nurse map. I would actually say it is the hardest out of any of the realms you could go to in Dead by Daylight. So last night I sent myself to a few games of Larry's. I actually brought the offering on my killer, which I don't think I've ever used before on nurse. Awful, awful map. And I saw what I could do, I kind of brainstormed a little bit, thought of different perks I could run, what would work on Larry's, what wouldn't, and now after I've played those games, I've seen what works, I've seen what doesn't work, I'm here to share it with you, since that's what people have asked me to do. So to start, we're going to get into the perk build. The perks were Tinkerer, Ruin, Undying, and a Barbecue. Tinkerer was the most brutal perk on this map. I thought this perk when I realised the main disadvantage for Nurse is lack of line of sight and thought Tinkerer would be a good way to use the lack of line of sight to my advantage. And holy shit, the amount of free tags, grabs and pressure this perk gives you alone is insane. Absolutely the best perk on this build by a mile. The next perk is Ruin, it's the best offensive perk, it synergizes perfectly with Tinkerer and the tag and leave playstyle that I played on this map. Makes it very hard for survivors to get gens done if the nurse is playing actively and holding good pressure. Undying shows auras of survivors with a close range to totems, giving a lot of chances for free tags. Again, exploiting the lack of line of sight, the survivors won't know you're blinking on top of them. Also synergizes well with ruin and makes sure that your ruin stays active. And then finally, barbecue exploits the lack of line of sight well again by showing auras, which can be used to get a quick tag off of a hook or show survivor positioning so you can push the survivors that are on gens off them so that gens regress thanks to ruin. As well as this, it gives you double blood points and what's to complain about that. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the playstyle on Larry's, which is very interesting because I don't actually ever recommend taking a chase. What I was doing the vast majority of the time was if I ever took a chase, it wouldn't go too well for me. It tended to be like I would take that chase and then I would end up wasting like 40, 50, 60 seconds even if it wasn't a typically very good survivor at all, chases would take a pretty long time for me if the survivor was decent or anything. The lack of line of sight made it pretty hard to get quick downs, even with the add-ons that I was using, which decreased cooldown. The wooden horse is actually glitched at the moment, so it decreases cooldown on your hit attacks, so it's actually pretty good for two taps. It cuts down the distance between you and the survivor after you hit them, and even then, I thought this add-on would help, it's still incredibly hard to get two taps and stuff like that because they just make so much distance. And if the survivor is weird and they don't do exactly what they're telegraphing that they're going to do, then it's going to be difficult for you to take a chase with the survivor. So the entire time I pretty much played, I would take chase just to occupy a survivor. I would try and get the down if I can. I would try and predict. But again, it is just like rolling a dice. They could double back. They could not. Again, uh, another thing that I would definitely say you need to play this map as a nurse is a good headset or at least a decent headset so that you can actually hear where the survivors are, you can hear their footsteps. I wouldn't be against cranking up the volume either if you play on 25% volume, maybe put it up to 30, 35 if you load into a Larry's map just so that you can hear the footsteps a little bit louder, they're more obvious and then you know if they're doubling back uh, from close range. But every single time I was in chase, if I ever got a tinkerer proc, an undying proc, or anything like that, I would instantly leave the chase, but I would try and hide the nurse first so they didn't see me. I would hide behind a wall so they still, they can't see me leaving the chase and they still think we're in chase, especially if I get a tinkerer proc, this would be like really weird for them, they wouldn't really know what's going on because they've lost heartbeat and all of a sudden the nurse has disappeared, but they would probably still think they're in chase, so they would carry on running, wouldn't get onto a gen straight away, and it's a lot of wasted time. So, as soon as I got a Tinkerer proc, normally I would just, if I'm in chase, I would hide behind a wall or something, let the survival make a little bit of distance so they couldn't see me, and then I would instantly zoom over to the gen that's being worked on, and I would get my free tag. Uh, quite a lot of times in these games, I actually got grabs off of Tinkerer gens as well. It's a ridiculous, ridiculous perk, to be honest. Tinkerer was, hands down, the best perk on this map for me. It made it so that maximum, I think in the two games I played, I think they got two gens popped. Other than that, it was just ridiculous. There's even a clip in here where I had two Tinkerer procs at once, and there just wasn't anything they could do. I went over, slugged one of them, and then came back to the other gen, and they just couldn't do anything. Tinkerer is a ridiculous, ridiculous part. Okay, I wanted to voice over this specific clip, but because this is the kind of thing I'm talking about, where I'm talking about a playstyle specific to Larry's. If you see this right here, you can actually look through these tiny windows, and I, could, I saw the scratch marks right on top over there so I knew that she didn't double back and she was holding a straight line path. 
This is why I went for this blink and you can see what actually happens. It's about using all of your visual indicators and you can use at this little window in the door. The survivor's not gonna know about it. They're probably not gonna expect you to blink on them because they don't think that you know anything. And it actually gave me the ability to have a relatively quick down. Uh, given how Larry's is set up, you're not gonna get a lot of them. Just always using all of the visual indicators or audio indicators available to you on any map is really useful. So if you do get, ever get into a situation where you have that window, you can actually see scratch marks pretty clearly through them. And I definitely recommend you just have a quick check to see if you can see anything that would help you in your chase. This is another specific moment I wanted to comment on. I was always just trying to work as much line of sight as possible, so you'll see here. I moved myself up against the window just to see what he was doing, and he actually went for a double back here, which I could see just through the slither of the window, which allowed me to get a swing on him. Unfortunately, it didn't connect because the ace's ping was uh, pretty trash, so a fair, a fair few times on that ace, I had swings that were right in his back and it didn't connect, but that's just how Dead by Day Light is. Dedicated servers, sometimes you will get a ridiculous hit, sometimes you will swing into their back and you will get absolutely nothing. Okay, to summarize, I basically would say for your playstyle to pay as much attention to your perks as possible with the Undying and Tinkerer procs, it will give you a lot of pressure alone. Uh, for perks in general, I would recommend that you always bring Tinkerer, it's a really devastating perk on this map, and Tinkerer just pairs very well with Undying and Ruin. If you don't want to run Undying and Ruin, that's up to you, but I would also recommend that. Barbecue, I think, was a good fourth perk slot, but if you feel like you need it, I think a ridiculous build as well would be Corrupt. Probably not for public games, but if you are playing a comp match or something where it's more like anything goes, um, Corrupt would probably be a lot more useful in this build than Barbecue. But, yeah, I think it's actually a very, very decent map once you know what you're doing. Like, it's playable. Uh, it's still a pretty bad map for Nurse, but if you're using all of the opportunities you can to get information like the doors, like pushing yourself up against a window, like waiting a few seconds to see what the survivor is doing, and if they don't do that certain thing, then you're going to rotate the other way, and then try and guess a blink. But trying to initiate as little chase as possible while spreading tags and spreading pressure, as well as if you're taking chase directly off of pushing gens, they're not going to make too much distance on you if you're constantly pushing gens, and that's where they're going to have very, very little distance, and it's going to be an easy blink for you. Um, just because it is Larry's doesn't mean every chase is going to be impossible. If there is a chase which starts with little distance at the start, it will be a relatively easy chase for you. You just need to blink and get that down as soon as you get to an area with line of sight on Larry's. It don't be ashamed to do a lot of walking as nurse. Like that's definitely okay. I think. That is expected because when you don't have line of sight there's no reason for you to blink if you don't have any reason to blink if you have no information what why would you blink and larry's is just the inf the map where you get the least information for nurse you get no line of sight you get very very little visual indicators so don't be afraid to be walking around a lot as nurse that's perfectly okay i would probably expect that quite a lot and walking when you don't have any indicators is probably the smartest thing to do if you have a good reason to believe someone is somewhere, then definitely go for a blink and see. But you will miss a lot of predictions as well. It's just going to happen. If survivors are weird enough and they're just being awkward and they're not doing what they're telegraphing to do, then you will miss a lot of predictions. That's just going to happen. That's just simply how it is uh, with Larry's. So if you did learn anything and you think this did help you at all, I'd really appreciate it if you consider hitting the subscribe button. Really do appreciate you watching today and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.